Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this video, we're gonna show you some pretty cool smoothing tricks in ZBrush. Who thought that smoothing tricks could be cool in ZBrush? Yeah, who who thought so? But, but there's actually some, but they some, can. some cool ones in there that some people might not know about. Yeah. So the very first one we're gonna show you is, let's say you want to smooth this border here. And you're just smoothing this now and you can see everything else gets smooth, but a border, this guy stays the same. So we can't have that. So. There is a quick way of um, making sure you can actually smooth the border. And that is if you go to under brush, just dock this guy over here. And then we have all the way to the bottom here, we have smooth brush modifiers. And by default, you can see that we have a guy here called mint connected. By default, it's up to three. Set this to one. Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is also something you can actually enable in your interface here. You, like, you can just drag it up in your custom UI because this is something you might use a fair bit. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty useful when you actually need it. Yeah. Sometimes, when, before I knew that this feature existed, like you would move the edge in yeah. and smooth, and it doesn't doesn't do good. No, it doesn't. Next up, we're gonna show a brush called Smooth Stronger. Smooth Stronger is amazing in a way that if you're just currently smoothing this, it's not particularly strong, and uh, you're never gonna guess what Smooth Stronger does. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very useful brush when you're working on a high yes. dense, like a dense mesh, like I. I sometimes use Smooth Stronger when I'm using DynaMesh, or mm. maybe I'm, I, I have a really high risk scan that I can't go down and subdivision in. Yeah, so this just isn't gonna cut it a lot of time. No. So what we, the way to access this is to hit the comma key or enable light box up here. And then we go under brush, and there is a menu here called um, Smooth, which is right here. So here you have a lot of cool brushes as well, and we'll cover two more later on. For, let's just cover Smooth Stronger first. And if you double click it, it's not gonna be activated as the, um, as the current smooth brush. So if we now use this one, you're just gonna see that this just destroys the form. <laughs> it just blitzes away everything, which is which is super useful. Yeah. I really enjoy using this one. I mean, it does exactly what, what the name describes. Yeah, it's like smooth, but stronger. But stronger. <laughs> <laughs> so really useful if you wanna kill form or if you just wanna, I guess that's it. Yeah, you wanna kill a lot of form. Mm. Yeah, you have a lot of excess detail. You don't want it. Smooth yeah. stronger is the, is the way to go. That's your man. So next up, we have um, two brushes called Smooth Peaks and Smooth Valleys. You can find them in the exact same place. Again, hit the comma key. So here we have Smooth Peaks first. I mean, they're very descriptive, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna do that. So it smooths all the peaks, but leaves all the valleys. Yeah. So these, I found that these brushes in conjunction with each other can be really helpful for making skin pores. Mm. Um, like if you have some sort of dot pattern that you spread across your mesh, you use something like the smooth peaks to kill what's ever on top, but you leave the sharpness uh, at the bottom in yeah. the valleys. You so kind of like there, yeah. Yeah, you see how you get this really nice, before and after, you get this really nice round shapes for this. Mm -hmm. This is obviously not, you wouldn't just leave this like this. <laughs> you obviously have to uh, have to uh, add more stuff to this afterwards, but it's a good starting point. And then we have the exact opposite of this, which is smooth valleys. Again, double click it, hit OK. And now this is gonna do the exact opposite. This is gonna leave the peaks for it. So it kind of looks like it's being filled with water. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get a lot. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this as well. This is really useful, particularly if you're doing like environmental things and you really, and you really want certain details just to shine like mm. this. Yeah, it really kind of sharpens up some points. Yeah, gives you a nice focus. So, those two brushes are super handy. Smooth peaks, and smooth valleys, uh, and then also of course smooth stronger as well. I used to for some time just use smooth stronger as my my go-to brush because it's just super useful. Then we have a little guy here called um, Alternate Smooth. I'm just gonna switch back to the regular smooth brush now, B, S, N, to do that. So now we have our regular smooth brush here now. Set so our draw size down a little. And um, so here we have a little Dynamish, little Dynamish guy here. And these guys here are notoriously hard to get rid of. And Smooth Alternate is an interesting way to smooth because uh, it's not really, I don't, I don't know, I haven't found it described no. anywhere. I've just, discovered it by accident myself. Um, so you see here now, this is what happens when you try to smooth it by default. You see this this guy here just get harder and harder to remove. And this is often an issue with dynameshed or C-remeshed objects because, because you won't have a uniform topology going up yeah. you know, up a cylinder or something like that. Very common issue for that. So if we, we can use the alternate smooth for this. The alternate smooth is found simply just by holding on the shift key 
and then releasing the shift key right away. So let's just look at this from the side. So regular smooth does this, regular smooth, and then we release the key. Now you can see that it just kind of, it just instead of going completely crazy, it just gives you a bit more. Um, Try to make the yeah press bigger. It's just a bit easier to get rid of of the the, the point here now. So you can sort of vary it while you're smoothing. Yeah. So hold down shift smooth, let go of. Of, of shift key. Of shift. <laughs> <laughs> this this takes a bit of, bit of time getting used to, but then you can remove these kind of shapes quite easily after a while. And you've kind of, of course, just smooth, sculpt over these guys as well. Like if you want to like remove this completely, you can just sculpt over it and then just get rid of it. It was actually interesting when you when you look, you try to activate the polyframe there. So do a regular smooth. You can see how it like pulls everything mm. together. And then once you go into alternate, it yeah. sort of like it releases. relaxes it. Yeah, so. So the, between this, regular and alternate just kind of relax a little bit. So highly recommend using the alternate smooth one. And then as a last tip here now, if you want to smooth your entire model, let's undo this so we can get some details back. You want to smooth the entire model in one go. We can do this with a deformer under um, tool, deformation. And here we have smooth as well. You're not really going to see a whole lot of this if you go, if you are in the top subdivision level, but if you go down a little here, so if we go down a subdivision level now, we can s and um, to maybe around 100,000, it's now a lot easier for this to work. So now we can just enable this and you can just see that this just smooths it right away. So this is how you would smooth out your entire model. Instead of going over it and, and smoothing it like this, you can just uniformly smooth every single bit. You can also do one, something which is kind of cool is, um, if you want to, uh, again, hit smooth here, you can just do this, uh, actually go down the subduction level, smooth now, and now we can just hit repeat to active, and this is just gonna keep doing this. Really useful feature if you want to if you want to reactivate one of these guys again, instead of having to drag it all the, all the time here. So let's just undo this real quick. And uh, you can also use this to sharpen your model. If you do smooth and do the opposite way, you get a nice little sharpening filter. Don't recommend using this too much because it goes a bit crazy, but um, you get some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> very, very interesting. <laughs> like that. Done. Done. <laughs> All done. <laughs> so these are some a couple of nice little smoothing tricks for you guys. So if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.